All right, boys and girls, today we are going to start painting our color wheel donut. We have our picture done. Uh, it's been traced with Sharpie. I've got six parts in the back and six sprinkles. These will be the colors of the color wheel. And then we're gonna color in our donut. So I also, I also have, to help me today, I have my paint tray filled with the six colors of the color wheel, some brown for the donut, some pink for the frosting. I've got two different sizes of brushes, one for tiny areas, one for big areas, and I've got my uh, paper towel and my cup of water. So to begin, let's start with the color wheel uh, colors. Let's make one sprinkle red and the section in the background red. This way, you're gonna use the same color at a time here, and then you won't have to clean your brush as much. Let's go ahead and fill that section in. Now that that's done, swish your brush gently, dab off the extra water. A little bit of water on your brush is okay. Sometimes it helps the paint flow a little smoother. Orange and orange. All right, and we're gonna go all the way around like that, matching the sprinkle and the color. So it's the order of the color wheel. Don't forget that. Look at the screen if you need help with that. Look at one of my example, right? Just copy that pretty much. Yellow, and then this one will be yellow. Now, one thing that can help to paint in big sections is to use a bigger brush, especially for like the donut part when they go to the brown. So if you need to switch to a bigger brush, it would help you go a little uh, quicker. That's fine. And still take your time. It just will go quicker than using a tiny brush and only filling in a little bit, you know? So like if I was gonna switch to the brown. You just wanna be careful, because sometimes a big brush means you, don't, you can't do the details as well. So that's why I have that little guy for the sprinkles. And just fill in this nice chocolatey donut. And the middle part too, because that's chocolate too in there. The whole thing's chocolate. All right, so that's how you're gonna paint this today. Make sure that you're cleaning your brush when you need to. You're being gentle with it. And then you're cleaning up everything. That means the paint tray, brushes, the cups, throwing away the paper towel when you, after you've cleaned your spot, use your paper towel to clean your spot. Okay, if there's any drips, when you, when you move your paper, use your paper towel and clean that up. All right, and this will go on the, Mr. Ray will help you put this on the drying rack too. All right, that's our idea for painting this. Good job, go get to work.